Hey, everybody. Welcome back to Chicago Reacts. My name is Michael. I'm an actor here in the city of Chicago, and I'm joined by the ever-brilliant, the always talented, the one, the only. It's Zach, also an actor here in the city of Chicago, soon to be worldwide, ladies oh, yeah. and gentlemen. Uh, today, we are back with um, one of our dearest, uh, yes. most, most most compatible people on the, <laughs> on the YouTube's internet historian, Incognito Mode, and this is his recent one, Future, with the John Tron Show. Oh, so no. uh cool little collaboration here okay. um i know that i think it was kit and kira all reacted to this one as well um know nothing about it but um good old uh internet historians animated podcast with uh john tron i used to love john tron back in the day so yeah. it's gonna be great and uh we love incognito mode so let's uh also, if you're watching this video live within the first two to three hours of it dropping, check us out on Twitch. We are live right now as we speak. It'll be great to see you. Hit that like button, subscribe, leave a comment. Let's jump in. Here we go. All right. Future. There we go. Future. Let me the tell future. you about the future. Oh, Are you tell us. from the future? Help, help. I am from the future. My future ball stopped working and I need to return to my people. <laughs> ah, I can see that you are a fellow future person. In the future, you will die. Want me to read the future? <laughs> <laughs> right. You will die. It's me, your great grandson. Get your hands off me. I'm from the future. You don't understand. There was a mistake on the mission brief. I saved baby Hiller and I hit Sarah Connor with my car. Oh, oh no! no. <laughs> oh, it worked. Why was that? So I felt like Internet Story was actually dying right there, and that made me yeah sad, very sad for a Just moment. Just being there. put to sleep. Yeah, <laughs> I'm back. Anyway, a gun. Bang, 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 bang. and more on in the field. <laughs> <laughs> Did you see uh, that video where it's like oh, metaverse God. shopping in Walmart? I didn't see that. Oh. Are they bringing banality to the digital world? Howdy. Thanks for visiting Walmart. I will be your shopping assistant module today, but you can call me Sam for short. Ugh. Now it gets way worse. She immediately turns into a hall monitor. Your age has already been pre-verified through your profile. You can buy... It's been verified through your biometric blood analysis. Are you sure you want that? <laughs> what are they going to do? Like, so the thing is, if you were too young to buy it, this would instantly become, how do I figure out how to like break the game? You know what I mean? There'll be yeah, people yeah, lying, bring, oh, lying yeah. down in their VR suits. <laughs> <laughs> and and then, you gotta get three of your friends together to stand on top of each other in VR. <laughs> so you're like, oh, your height has been verified. It's 17 feet. You must be clearly old enough to buy this wine. Immediately, you'll hear um, the summoning salt music. Yeah, so I beat Walmart in 36 <laughs> seconds, 0.27. Start here with the wall glitch, and then you buy 1.6 million gallons of Do milk. like the backward, backwards cart jump to speed up your fucking glitching through the ground? Yeah. So as you can see here, I've uh, refunded 9 million packets of cat food and gone directly yeah. into my bank account. Yeah. Uh, I, I Amazon price matched at record speed. Yeah, exactly. You know what I love about this whole thing is it's like, isn't this just Amazon.com with extra steps? Yeah, and with this like annoying lady who's yeah. preventing you. It is though. It yeah. is. It's just, yeah. It's, it's like, I mean, all the metaverse stuff, I'm like, I don't understand. It's, uh, I don't know. I, I don't know if the tech is like there enough for it to feel real enough. Like, it still feels in that clunky state. Like, I'm sure we'll get there. Yeah. But, like, right now, it's still in that clunky state of, like, oh, this is, like... It's a novelty uh, Yeah, it's, it's uncomfortable um, to use. It's, you know... Yeah. It just isn't convenient or quick. But, yeah. I mean, I guess if it's saving you time... Like, like, essentially what you're doing is the same as, like, scrolling through the Amazon app and picking the items that you want. And right. that, to me, is so much faster... Or the Walmart app, or whatever app right. you're shopping on, is so much faster than like VR going through the, the grocery store. I mean, I guess you can like oh see things that you might like, but yeah, I, I the, but the, it's it's not the same. Yeah, I mean, like I like going to the grocery store mm -hmm. and like getting inspired of like what do I want to make what what looks good. Yeah, but it's that thing of like what looks good, what looks fresh, what smells good, and I don't know if you get that if you're not at the store. No. No, not I. I not, not in the slightest. That the smell of vision. Yeah. yeah, 
But yeah, I just do not understand Zuckerberg's fascination and and pure dedication to metaverse. I mean, have you have you kind of looked into like what it's actually costing them to 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 run this and to continuously yeah. like develop it? And it's, it's it, Facebook's gonna it's a if lot. It's they, a big swing. They um, are really going all in with it. Yeah, and I mean, um, it's crazy until like if it works, then everyone's gonna be like, that was genius yeah but i mean i feel like that's the thing is the the line between genius and crazy person is very small yeah like have you have you seen have you seen the the demos that have been put out of like the the metaverse like the the social element of it where like people get together and play games it just looks so horrible yeah so horrible i haven't no i actually haven't seen a lot of it so drop those links in the comment yeah. section down below. Zach and I are going to dive into yeah. reviews of the metaverse. <laughs> yeah, metaverse <laughs> reviews. Not going in ourselves. We want to see other people go in first. Um, but yeah, let us know if you're in the metaverse. <laughs> what is your favorite thing yes, about it? And please, what is your least favorite? Please do. You from like listening no, you know, to yeah, music or whatever in the background. She's just like, we've already pre-measured your penis. We've determined your condom size is small. I noticed you bought nacho cheese Doritos. <laughs> Would you like me to warp you to the nacho cheese aisle? <laughs> Don't worry, I'll do it anyway. <laughs> it gets way dumber. Oh gosh. It looks like you already have a full gallon of milk at home. Should we put this one back? Ooh, we take rationing very seriously here at Walmart. <laughs> looks like you're headed off to the Walmart digital jail. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry, we've got a coupon for your bail. The tone and everything of like having to talk to this robot. Talking to robots oh. is never going to work. It's always just, fu- get the fuck I, out yeah, of my face. You don't have much to relate about. Mm. Oh, what do you do? Sit in cold silence all day? Oh, are you alive? Like, do you feel? Yes, I am sentient. I don't believe you. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. That's the end. This is a really good example of people getting stuck thinking about the future with the present. They're like, mm. the future will be like going to a Walmart store, but in your VR headset. You know, in reality, it's just like a mm. microchip in your brain that's spiking fucking neurotransmitters to get <laughs> get you to do what it wants. That's really what's oh, gonna okay. happen. I've added the surface charge to your part. Oh my god. Now for the fun stuff. Oh, that wasn't the fun stuff? To electronics. Ugh. Instead of just opening a web page, uh, oh, right, here's the thing with the stuff. Instead, you have to go through this rigmarole of being <laughs> into the shop. You have to get back to the electronic store. And as you do that, every time she does fun. this stupid fucking line. And now onto the fun stuff. The, yeah, yeah, yeah. Skip, skip, skip. Where'd your cart go? All your shit just bashing around. It's like, don't worry. Nothing will be damaged. I think you can even hear the bottle break. So, oh <laughs> you delivered ex- you, you already know, smashed. Yes. Like, oh my god. That is- <laughs> but they he bri- he brings up a really good point too. Like, think about how frustrated you get at video game, like waiting yeah. on a video game for something yeah, to alone. Be like, Why am I still on the screen? Like, Which I would assume this is tutorial mode. Like, right. eventually you can just pull it up. Right. Yeah, but I still like. I'm still trying to think of a scenario where I'm like sitting on my couch and Mm -hmm. I'm like, you know what? Instead of ordering this on my phone, let me grab my VR headset so I can actually pick out the items that I want. Mm -hmm. Like to me, to me, this, this will be, well, the, the one thing that scares me is that Online retail will become so profitable Mm -hmm. that they're just that Amazon and all these other online retailers will buy up actual grocery stores and then they will close them down. So you only can get you can only go to a grocery store like this this way. So then it will be like, oh, if you want to actually physically go through the grocery store, you have to have a system right because you only can do it virtually now there is right. no actual going to the store yeah though hopefully that's not in our life yeah please god, <laughs> but it probably no. is please god no but like so i think that that my yeah. biggest gripe with like vr and this thing is it like it just sounds way more futuristic mm-hmm. than it practically makes sense to like to me there is zero practicality mm-hmm. to this, but 
to Mark Zuckerberg, well, see, it just sounds really cool and the, really futuristic. What I'm curious about, and I just watched a video about recently, was um, self-driving cars. Because one of the issues that this is trying to solve is the fact that it takes a really long time to get places. Mm-hmm. But if self-driving car technology improves to the point where we can go get in our car and have it drive us to a location, suddenly all of that commute time becomes time that we can put towards other things. Be productive like otherwise. We can do things in the car while it's driving us to a different place. Exactly. And that makes me think that actually there will be probably a swing back to like going places. Right, right. Being in the world because it doesn't take as long. Right. See, people on the surface see Tesla as as a futuristic car company when in reality, Tesla is actually an information-based mm. company. What every Tesla out there on the road the is video. doing, <laughs> yeah, what every Tesla out there on the road is doing isn't just acting as a, as a practical via transport for in people, but it's gathering billions and trillions of data points on roads and roadways and to, to perfect yeah. their self-driving technology. It's it's one of the most brilliant ways to do it because you're giving people an actual service and and but but at the same time you're providing them with with an object that is practical mm-hmm. that they're going to use anyway and you're using it that's why like I I really think yeah. like Tesla is is much I think Tesla Apple and Amazon like literally just mm-hmm. are the few, I I don't see a world without them I will say. I can see where this might be helpful for someone who is in a position where they can't get out of their house or they aren't very mobile. Mm -hmm. So I can see this being an accessibility tool for people. Yeah. And I can see its value. I guess I just don't know that it will be like, this is the way that people will shop in the future. I'm not sold on that yet. Yes. Um, But it, it sure. I, I can agree with your thing on accessibility. But it's not as if it's the if it's not as if like, um, oh, without this grocery shopping is impossible for those that lack accessibility in certain places. There are still other ways to do it, yeah. even remotely, despite oh, yeah. despite whatever handicap you may have. Yeah. Um, and I don't know if this experience in and of itself would the the amount of enrichment that it would provide would would qualify the like the the overall expense and the overall commitment to said technology yeah even on behalf of the of the the person with the handicap yeah um yeah look at this an internet historian video where we're actually like I having know, now a, we're, a we're real conversation like really about, into it like, yeah we're, yeah i wonder if this is <laughs> maybe it's a picture of internet Fucking John Chan and Internet History. I know. You know? <laughs> Damn. Okay. Let's get back to it. Yeah. Exactly how <laughs> fucked up they were in this simulation. What did they shoot it out of a cannon and make a big ass hole in your house? If they had like VR cam girls, <laughs> yeah, and they're like, you know what? I'll be your girlfriend for the day, and then they will go shopping with you at virtual Walmart, but they'll just be like nude the whole time, or even not, and then she's just like nice to you and shops with you all day. Uh, I swear I saw this like. Mark down five dollars at Target. <laughs> Honest <laughs> opinions on like, nah, those those shorts don't look good on you, and like, <laughs> yeah, oh, that'll be great. Go, I think we'll find some better at men's warehouse. Oh, you know what? They like, actually just fixed it. Men. They just fixed it. They just <laughs> they, yeah. the character is engaging enough. Mm-hmm. Maybe they fixed it. Maybe, maybe. I mean, but is I mean, I a, still am like personally yeah. like. Yeah, I don't know if that would work for me, but but it is funny how John Tron and, 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 and Internet Historian in a matter of about sixty seconds literally a, came up with a better concept oh, idea than yeah yeah, you yeah. like <laughs> God man it's just we we just have the wrong individuals um at, at the forefront of <laughs> of the, developing this shit. Mm-hmm. Um, Men's warehouse is only like half constructed. It's still oh. If I could get the Cartoon <laughs> Herald avatar, then just go shopping with people. That would be yeah. brilliant. See, that'd be like the one cameo thing worth doing. Yeah, no, finally something to look forward to when I'm living in the pod. 
Progress is not just technology or politics. For example, this is true progress because no. they could have had stalls back in the day. Yeah. They really could have. Just a little dividing wall. But instead, mm -hmm. they decided never shit alone. Okay, <laughs> I have a theory about this. We come across this and we go, amazing. Not only did the Romans have indoor plumbing, but they shat together like a bunch of degenerates. <laughs> But you go back in, in time and they, they actually were walls there that, were, that are just eroded. But we just yeah. assumed right. they were all of us. <laughs> yeah, yeah. And it's like you go back and the guy's like, what? You think we just all shat looking at each other eye to eye? What are you, crazy? <laughs> what do you think the custom is? Like you never sit right next to the other guy who's shitting when it's completely yeah. empty. It's basically urinal rules, except much more important. What is with this like keyhole shape. That's so you can get to your ass with the stick. Oh, of course. And huh? it's been bathing all day in salt and vinegar solution. Which, well, like a bag of chips. That's what they did. <laughs> they would put the sponge, the communal sponge. I don't believe in the communal sponge because here's what they <laughs> <don't> <laughs> I reject the communal sponge. Just, I don't just, believe in it. Just, just his, just, just very, very, just ca casual contribution to the conversation. Yeah, I don't contribute to. The, I don't <laughs> don't the that. yeah. That's Twice fake. Some fake yeah. science. Yeah. But <laughs> Would accidentally drop it down the hole and then you'd need a fresh sponge that's why you don't believe in it by two weeks in everyone would go i want the fresh sponge whoops and deliberately drop it down <laughs> yeah i want to know how they make this inference maybe they analyzed the sponge and found different types of diarrhea on it like this came from four different people <laughs> oh <my God. laughs> four, yeah, it turns out it was a it was a toilet wiping sponge <laughs> so it's like the janitor who cleaned it yeah right <laughs> All right, here's something that I reckon the future is going to get wrong about our papyrus. prison. Mm -hmm. In your underwear, right? Often it's got that kind of flap and there's like a kind of a hole at the front. Yeah, and yeah. And so the idea is you could actually poke your dick out there and... and yeah, well, that's the idea. <laughs> no one does that. The danger yeah. of accidentally pissing all over yourself is enormous. <laughs> you but in the future, they will see the these holes in the front so of our underpants good. and go, ah, they used to poke it out the front in order to whiz. So I think a decent amount of people do that. No. I bet you if you put that out, there's no. going to be tons of comments like I do that. I've never met one. See, this is, you're already <laughs> making the kind of historical inference, right. and we're in the day and age. Oh, I've got one more. Ad time. I used to be a bad person, like you, until I discovered the browser extension. Tab for a call. Link in the description. Oh. It's so simple, fellas. You get the browser extension, and your home page displays this little ad on the bottom right. And every time you open a tab, boom, it generates about one tenth of a cent. It's not much, but think about how many tabs you open every day. <laughs> the browser extension, and you suddenly you are generating millions for charity. You can even select the charity that you want to mm. how does not to break down the the ad yes. section uh-huh but how does that work the the tabs for a cause yeah. how do they get money for every ad you go is it like they get a percentage of like the ad revenue on that page probably yeah like probably i would assume like let's say company a goes to um Tab goes to company A and says, like, look, we're starting this service where essentially we get people to agree to host ads on their own their own screen. Um, and you pay us a certain amount to do that. And we then take a percentage of that and give that away to charity. Mm. But I'm sure then the company also gets to write it off as a donation. Right. So for taxes, so it's yeah. probably a win-win. I, I I would actually say this was probably surprisingly easy to set up. Hmm. Tab for a cost. curious, curious. Let us know in the comments. Let us know. Yes. Support. I like Team C's because they're busy removing all the plastic that mysteriously ends up in the ocean. <laughs> a little greedy there, didn't you, fella? And the Nobel Peace Prize goes to. Holy shit, that guy. <laughs> it's, well, it's about time. So go to the link in the description. Get the tab for a cause browser extension. Did I mention it's free? You don't Shame. want to be a bad person, do you? Why not be a good person? Tab for a cause. It's a also lot this generic industrial the music track. <laughs> And ironically, you know, when you see someone post and it says like, I think kids in Africa should have food and it gets 100,000 likes. It's that level of effort 
but you're actually <laughs> doing something. <laughs> and over. Oh, right. You have right seen pyramids. Yeah. I've seen pyramid. It originally looked like this. It was white and it had a gold top, right? Yeah, I mean, this is your personal account. There are so many things you can do <laughs> with something as big as that and smooth as that. And number one is a big slide. You know what I mean? And uh, you're just making a assumption that it was not that? That would have been the best rite of passage for the Egyptians. <laughs> like, okay. A ride of passage, perhaps. Hey! <laughs> oh. You can't do it with the Aztec one. It's all steps. Bump, 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 bump the whole way down. I always wondered if, like, you went to the past and you, like, just talked to one of the people who made these things. They're like, what? <laughs> this? We made this because we just had to displace a lot of sand and we wanted to do it. Yeah, we were digging a big hole and this is just the pile. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> The, what happened to the, the hole is gone? The great hole of Giza. I knew it. It was the Assyrians. God damn it. They were. <laughs> yeah, that's so good. Oh my God. What happened to the great hole? What happened to the great hole of Giza? <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. God damn. Always jealous. Oh, of the they came here and they filled it in, didn't they? <laughs> oh, fuck me. Yeah. That's brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> and we're like, it was meant to point to the stars. See the bits on the side? Is that supposed to be hair? Well, it's a headdress for one, yeah. so it's just meant to be ornate. But to me, it looks like a like when a cobra like uh, rears up. Oh. Mm -hmm. And it has a snake on the top of his head, so I figured it was a cobra. That makes perfect sense. Yeah, I never really thought about. What, okay, what's what's up with the beard then? Because that's a lady. Is that a lady? Well, yeah. That's for the pharaoh, isn't it? Yeah, but it's a she. The sphinx is a lady. Is it? Are you sure? I mean, I... which is a woman. Oh, oh, excuse oh, me. Unlike the, the, the Greek Sphinx. That's a that's the the Greek Sphinx, uh, typically shown as a woman. Egyptian Sphinx, Chad. I always thought it was a woman. Yeah, I mean, look at the makeup. No, you're. Ju it's just Egyptian his beautiful men lips wear makeup. That you mm -hmm. dream yeah, about back kissing. then. Yeah, it was yeah, just like the, the wealthy beard people. Might have given you a clue. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah that was. Makeup. Yeah, it was like a class thing. It yeah, was, um, which was what just like berries and stuff. Yeah, to yeah, dye it wasn't. The face. Yeah, they didn't have Chanel back then, believe it or not. They, you know, people weren't walking around rocking Dior and, you know, I mean, high fashion. What they called it. Maybe they did. <laughs> <laughs> what happened to my Dior makeup? Yeah, <laughs> like, this is the newest uh, Berry Paul lip gloss. Berry Paul lip. Um, it's ultra lubricating, yeah. and, uh, and it, it also tastes really sweet. But don't let the bugs get it. Please they will don't. Eat your face. They will. They will absolutely wreck your face. How would you feel if you were the one who had to chisel, like, the boobs onto a Greek sphinx? That would be awesome. Like, your job <laughs> is to chisel gigantic boobs out of the side of a mountain face. <laughs> you you got to pretend you don't like it. You got to be like, oh, man, no, that job. I'd, like, nestle between them and be like. <laughs> 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 it starts to break apart on its own weight, so they have to construct a giant bra. <laughs> you are charged with motorboating a crack into the rock face. How do you plead? <laughs> I did it. I fucking did it. <laughs> and I'd do it again. All right. Well, let's Google a bunch of rites of passages then. Oh my here, God. this is the list of the 25 craziest rites of passage. Oh, wait. Here's a good one. The Okrika tribe of Nigeria believe that young women form romantic relationships with water spirits during their childhood. To end their love affair with the water spirit and get married, young women must perform the era ritual. The era ritual consists of singing songs by the river for days on end, during which the river makes one last attempt to capture their lover. Damn girl. And then they are rescued by their suitor husband. Oh shit! That's really sweet. I like that. Do you ever that think uh, one is they get wild. like a text? I know you are talking <laughs> still to that water spirit. I know it is him. <laughs> I picked up your phone the other day. It was dripping. I saw a number I did not recognize. I pick it up. I put it to my ear and I'm hearing the ocean. You are still in love with him. Four times a day, you are getting water from the yeah. well. <laughs> you only sang by the river for four days. You said you are tired. I know it is because you love him. That's not sweat on your collar. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? It is true. Oh, no. Is that the water spirit coming from behind? Puts his arm around you, girl. <laughs> I love that. I love the idea of this boyfriend is jealous of yeah, the river. Yeah. What does that mean then if you're like washing your ass in the river? <laughs> if she drinks a glass of water, mm -hmm. you know, it's like he's inside oh. her. You just gonna let that stand? Okay, all right, moving on, moving on. Yeah. Three. Foot finding? 
Well, I wouldn't oh. want that to happen to me. Hold on, I actually got a theory about foot binding. Yeah. Supposedly, it's supposed to make the women look more dainty, you know, small feet, all that sort of thing. But... Look yeah. at the beauty and the grace, like a ballerina. <laughs> <laughs> the other idea is, have you noticed that if you bend the foot like this, you essentially get something much more akin to a hand. And if you put two of those together, well, you could imagine what might happen if the emperor happened to be into feet. Is this you sort of? Do you sort of understand? I, it? I'm oh completely I thought it lost, had something to I'm do intrigued. with the. Um, I don't know if it was. I thought one it of was the empress's like, wives, or some, or or what? Or maybe it was. Maybe it was an empress at the time. Mm -hmm. Why? Because I don't. I'm I trying to think back to my world history class that I took, but. I think it was the emperor's wife had like a like, think, like an a, actual foot problem right yeah and then, yeah so and so people did it to look like like her, her. right right oh i ah. wonder i wonder what like people are gonna say about this generation in the, in the just, future about us i just feel know? my feet right now ah. just what weird things did we do yeah what was your, we do what a lot was of the rite of passage what was my rite of passage? Oh, I'm just trying to think of like any just in our the, culture. The, yeah, the millennial rite of passage. Yeah. Uh, dealing with I inflation. I salad fingers. <laughs> oh, dealing with <laughs> dealing inflation. inflation. <laughs> Probably, yeah. <laughs> uh, yeah, the whole society was set up so that every eight years there would be an economic collapse and you would have to get through it. And who was to pay for it? The millennials. <laughs> <laughs> the millennials. <laughs> yep. Advanced. It's about 11 p.m. on a Tuesday night, whatever. He's had a couple drinks. Yeah. The emperor comes in. He loves feet. And he's like, whoa. You're saying the emperor would have a foot fetish? Yeah, it's a hand. Dude, look down there. That looks like Patrick's star. <laughs> it does yeah. look like Patrick's star. Oh, my star. gosh. <laughs> SpongeBob. <laughs> How'd they do this? To me? I can't do a Patrick those, impression, apparently. Those images they, are... Ah, they they had really to be just, like, so uncomfortable. Like, in no... Like, I mean, it's crazy that your whole foot like changes. Yeah. To be able to like, like the calluses that mm -hmm. grow and your whole feet have to be like numb. Yeah. Or just always hurt. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm sure that does serious damage to the nerve endings in the foot as well. Oh, yeah. I mean, I mean, I would hope that they are not all that intact because that's so painful. Yeah. And by the way, if you like look away. Yeah. And then look back, it like it looks like Petra Star. Yeah, I mean it's unsettling how much it does, but it doesn't make me feel any better. <laughs> like it's, oh, ah, it still is hurting it's, my feet. Like it, I feel pain in my body looking at it. Uh, and then just the way on the left too, like the oh. it, it looks like the skin is just absolutely falling apart, but really it's well, just the it's pinky just calluses toe and wrinkles yep, and yep. yeah. Yeah, it's not. I mean, just ah, okay. We gotta keep. I can't keep looking at this. We gotta keep playing it. It's so bad. Oh no! Come on, SpongeBob! I'm gonna be late for the emperor to fuck my face or whatever. <laughs> Future food. I want to be able to print a steak. Yeah. No, well, they're already doing that. They're trying to make, like, lab-grown meat. Yeah. But they're like, look, we're almost there. The only problem is every time someone tastes it, they go, <coughs> yuck! I'd rather kill myself! Get me out of this facility! I didn't consent to this! It's funny, when you look at all these food shortages, <laughs> yeah. there's oh my always gosh. one section that doesn't have any shortages, and it's all this vegan shit down there. <laughs> yeah, it reminds me of that, like, morning time. Yo, lunch. yo, it's, it's, it's good. It, uh, that actually, well... <laughs> Those images may prove otherwise, but at my store, the vegan stuff was going too. Mm -hmm. And uh, let me tell you, I, I found it quite tasty, quite delectable. Plus, uh, it is e Is this your cheaper. George Bush? Is that what this is? It kind of no. sounds a little bit like it George Bush. It sounds a little bit right like George Bush. I was trying to th think if I could do George Bush. Uh, I'm going to have this uh, genetically modified Funyun right here. Yeah. yeah. You go ahead. You do some, it. That's uh, future. Just, that, this is that future. At a time, that was future food for a time. For for our time now, onions, yeah. Oh, mm -hmm. anyway, 
Let's continue. Let's so continue. Mm. The lady brought her dog on, and she was like, trust me, she's vegan. And then they brought out, they're like, let's put it to the test. And they put out, oh. like, a bowl of meat and a bowl of, like, vegetables. And the dog just, like, <laughs> yanked the chain and immediately just started eating the, the meat like it would never seen it before. <laughs> yeah. Is there any bigger condemnation of your product than people would rather die than eat it? <laughs> Food shortages. Food shortages. Who's leaving the one bread? Who's leaving the one? Is that okay? There's something wrong with this. Or no, that's what I want to ask you. Right, you're in the store. Right. everything's gone. Oh my god! All right, you need to eat. You walk up to the bread aisle. You glance side to side. There it is. There's that one bread right there. See that? Why is it left there? There's probably nothing wrong with it, right? Ooh. You gonna grab that bread? Everybody's got the exact same. Yeah. Would you grab that bread, Michael? I don't know. If, mm. I don't know if I could do it. I don't know. Like. Someone put it back for a reason. <laughs> yeah, but maybe that reason was that they found a different bread before it sold out that they liked better. I just don't like and those that's odds. The last of, I mean, it's likely the last of the cheapest right. bread. I, I just, frankly, I just don't like those odds of like, yeah, I just so happen to be the 268th person that walks through that aisle and I just so yeah. happen to be there. Well, it also looks like sometimes. buns. To me, from those here. were so, buns, maybe the, bagels. So to me, like, I'm like, man, if it were bagels, I'd get it. I don't care. I love bagels. I would, I would always do the mm. last thing of bagels if it were, well, if it were vegan. Nothing beats a, nothing beats That's, a good bagel. You know, bagel. love a bagel. <laughs> I'm biased. Yeah. What's wrong with this one piece? There's yeah. probably nothing wrong with that bread. It probably, it probably get you through the, uh, the night because you are hungry. What could have possibly happened to what it? could have happened to that bread? Yeah, <laughs> I think I would open. grab it, but then what I would do is probably like skin the whole bread, and then I would only eat whatever's on the center skin of it. Skin the whole bread? Yeah, <laughs> you know, get rid of all the crusty bit on the outside. Because, like, oh, someone's probably reached their hand in. Oh, around man. Really? Who says skinning bread? We call that removing the crust. You absolutely, is there something wrong no, with it? Pretty much the whole world says skinning bread, except for <laughs> Americans who are like, uh, I'll have a drink of pop, please. I've got some for you on pop. Yeah. It's no longer just good enough to have regular soda pop, okay? It's got to have like a twist. I'm not sure who started this. Maybe it was Coke mm. with like <laughs> vanilla Coke or Crystal Pepsi, whichever one came first. Yeah. And you know, even milk's getting into this with chocolate <laughs> milk now. Well, Can you believe this? Well, it's, so it's called Crystal Pepsi. Yeah. And that's like the see-through Pepsi. Yeah. They were like, take out the additive that makes that artificial coloring and just give it to them what it actually is. And people said, no, no, that's what it is. I'm not drinking that. Put back the carcinogenic <laughs> is, coloring. Is, 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 <laughs> the Pepsi like, is naturally colored? Do I wreck? Yeah, it's like, it, that's literally like, uh, Crystal Pepsi was the exact same thing, but just the, the coloring was removed, essentially. Yeah. And people just re were repulsed by it. No one liked Crystal Pepsi. Maybe there was a, uh, maybe that little dye does add flavor. Did they or, do it to make it look more like Coke or does Coke also, I don't, I, I, I think just cola in general is just that color, I guess. It's I, interesting that brown, like, are we just used to it at this point? Mm -hmm. Because that to me is not the most, like, if I were, if I were, trying to create a drink like a refreshing drink i wouldn't think let's color it brown this, let's color it the same colors as feces yeah or um, but now that like but i also have found brown sodas to be refreshing oh absolutely so at this point i'm like is that just because i'm used to it? Like, brown soda brown yeah. coffee brown tea oh brown um, coffee is the way to go <laughs> Yeah. Oh, brown you coffee, want your coffee is brown. the way to go. <laughs> or a form of beige if you're doing a latte. But mm. Now we're talking. Reckon, I've never all they did it. was take out the food coloring. That's what it is. Oh, it's got one less ingredient. Yeah. Give me a discount. Then. It just proves how unhappy <laughs> yeah. I figured they basically Honestly, did Honestly, fucking this. people. <laughs> I don't, I'm sorry. <laughs> this was somewhere on your mind and it somehow related to Crystal Pepsi. <laughs> you know what I mean? No, I don't know what you mean, mate. Naturally, it's all brown because it's just brown and water. And then you pour it in the oyster tank and they <laughs> filter it out. <laughs> Wait a minute. You're telling me you thought. I'm not telling you that that's what I thought. I'm telling you that's definitely what you... happened. <laughs> <laughs> You know, sometimes Acid when toilet. people talk about like dissolving a dead body and flushing it down the toilet, I reckon that would be really difficult to do. Define yeah. difficult. So one time I clogged a toilet.
Oh, we got to go backwards more. So, <laughs> no, 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 no. Yeah, give me the give me the groundwork. I see where you're heading. Okay, this okay. one time I was living in this really shitty apartment and I didn't have a clothes washer. And so I had to go all the way to a laundry mat. Now, at one point I ran out of towels and I thought, "Well, I still need to shower." So instead, I took with me into the bathroom a whole roll of handy paper towels. Now, when I got out of the shower, I dried oh, no. myself with all these paper towels, and it worked a treat. And I thought, I am a genius. Yeah. And then what I proceeded to do was throw those paper towels into the toilet. Oh, no. Which was not as ingenious of a move. Well, you win no. some, you lose some, okay? Bad you don't be on all the time. Bad <laughs> so idea. what happened was the toilet was thoroughly clogged, <laughs> and I thought, oh, you know, it'll pass. It'll, no. No, it'll, it'll decompose over time. It's for about a week. That, it'll decompose. <laughs> for about a week. The toilet was like completely clogged. So then you got a plunger, right? Or you just stamped it down with your foot or just anything other than whatever. Just, no, You're probably you should have removed it. I tried right? all yeah. sorts of things. So at first I was like, oh, I'll just put some cat litter down. I had a cat. I'll put some cat litter down. That'll help. What just the fuck? <laughs> You're not sounding like you know much about toilets. No, because this... the cat litter will dissolve. So worst case scenario. <laughs> no, it'll clump. No, oh, that's that's no, that's worse. that's why it's funny because he's like he's just starting out. No, it will dissolve <laughs> just because it's the complete opposite of what it does. Okay, you you're fine. <laughs> now, now that didn't. How will that help? That though? didn't. Well, well, no, it it didn't help in the end. You're like uh, toilet, <laughs> uh, cat poop, a uh, litter. Uh, put it in. I tried a plunger. That did not work. I tried boiling hot water. Poured down the toilet. That also did not work. And so eventually, I thought, okay. So basically, it was a psychotic break. <laughs> so I should call a plumber, and I've got no idea like... when they'll come out. I don't know how much I'll pay them, and I can't be bothered. And this cat litter's <laughs> right here. Yes. I will go the nuclear option, and I will go and buy a bottle of sulfuric acid that's used for melting and smoothing concrete, uh, and instead pour that down. The <laughs> it's incredible if you buy one of these things, because like you open the cap no. and you can feel the acidity of the thing. Like if you start pouring it out, really? you will actually feel the hairs in your nostrils react to it. Oh. It's incredibly corrosive, yeah. incredibly dangerous. So bring that into your house. Yeah. Uh, by the way, that didn't unclog the toilet at all, and instead- <laughs> Okay, that's what I was waiting for. And it's gonna uh, destroy you through this, the yeah. And left a permanent mark. And so are we gonna get like a moral to the story or you promised me we were just gonna be sticking to talking about the future <laughs> i want to know what happened no. i want to know what happened it, i th i'm my money is on he bought a new toilet if and can, he threw that oh. toilet out with the wad of to paper towels in it <sighs> or or new toilet start over <laughs> or this he had gone to too far he what are he, you gonna tell the plumber when he came out you're gonna tell the plumber that's you're gonna look a plumber in the eye and tell him that story? Nah. Nah. Or he went to his landlord and just said, yeah, I'm going to have to prematurely end my lease. <laughs> he moved. I, game over. I'm, I'm <laughs> starting over. I'm not, not going <laughs> to deal with this. I'm moving. I am, I am, I am moving. That is the equivalent of like oh. pressing reset in Skyrim and just going to the screen where, hey, you. You're finally awake. <laughs> like, but you just wake up in a new apartment, you know? It's like it's like yeah. hey, and, that's you, just uh, game over. and you just assume, and you just wait to not get your deposit <laughs> yeah. back to the last place. I don't oh. know what happened. Some guy stayed over and Yeah. Someone must just, have uh destroyed me. Yeah, someone must have cat orgy or in something the, in the night yeah. that I moved out or something. Yeah. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I don't know where they got the cat litter from, but <laughs> I'm tired of having my methods questioned. I want to question you. Okay. Let's do some Q&A with John Tron. Hardball's question time, truth, and facts. Yeah. Okay. Is that Jordan Peterson? Uh, l listen, listen, I'm the one asking the questions around here. <laughs> I've heard that you have a wife. Is that true? That's, do you care to comment? Um, That's true. That's true, yeah. <laughs> How traditional of you. How, it, a, yeah. a conservative, someone might say. Yeah, I mean... I couldn't help but notice that your middle name is Aryan. Is that owing to your pure white heritage? <laughs> You're <laughs> fucking with me, right? This isn't a real thing. <laughs> You're such a bastard. Bless me. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah, no, that's really my middle name. Got him. And it is a Persian <laughs> name. It's pronounced Aryan. <laughs> you see, the Indo-Aryans, oh. the Yamnaya people, uh, is are, that made up? 
No. <laughs> Look it up. Yum Nye. Okay, so <laughs> the, the Yum Nye people, not Yum Nye. <laughs> <laughs> and the ones who went west became the Europeans, and the ones who went east became the Persians. Iran actually means land of the Aryans, but it's not oh meant. Oh my god. It's, yeah, I know, I know. You can't make it up. Oh, it's just going from bad to worse. It what derives you... from like the third century Sasanian Middle Persian. Iran. Are you reading the Wikipedia? I am now, uh, but I wasn't. <laughs> uh, anyways. I wasn't really listening to that explanation. I'll just, I'll just shortcut and say racism. Um. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you proud of yourself? You proud of yourself? You smiling ear to ear? Listen, listen. I'll I fucking thought dox I, I, you right I'm now. here just to give the fair interview. Just to, just to oh, lay out the Oh, that's what this is? This is the interview? This is just a fair, <laughs> balanced true. interview? Look, there's no need to be so aggressive, John. <laughs> <laughs> you didn't even ask me my favorite like food dish or anything. What kind of interview is this? What is your favorite food dish? The crayon green. I like the way it looks. I heard yeah. that you're dead. <laughs> you you promised you wouldn't go down this route. Okay, we had a chat before. It was the one question that you, was off. It was the <laughs> one you knew. And don't tell me you forgot. Are we still in the interview? Have I walked out of the studio yet? Let me ask you this. Yes. Can you grow a full beard or is this part wow. of... The, wow. the John Tron character. Wow, that's all I've fucking got. That's all I've got, I-H. Am I not allowed to ask you about the beard? I just feel attacked. All right, I won't ask you about the beard then. What's the worst question you get during interview? This one. This one. <laughs> You've scored number one. <laughs> all right, yes. let me ask you then. Where do you get the inspiration for your videos? You know what? I... <laughs> You know what? Where do I get the inspiration? Man, I'm not like, fuck you, I'm not in. You're not gonna, are you putting these interview bits in? All right, well, thanks for coming to the Channel 4 interview. I hope that was perfectly balanced and fair. Channel 4, that's all I get? Well, the other three were busy. That's the end of the video. Uh, we also have another collaboration coming out in a few weeks on John Tron's channel. Also, I have another channel Ooh. called Story Mode. It's a different type of content. You might like it. It ain't that different from the rest of the things I do. I've only got one idea. And do not forget about tab for recalls. Ah, so good. Ah, I love internet historian. We always have a blast watch this content. And apparently, we have a uh, pretty in depth conversations about the metaverse mm -hmm. and future, just yeah. in general, rites of <clears throat> passage, of, and... rites of passage, coming of age, and uh, all that good stuff. Um, hey, if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe to this channel so you don't miss anything else, and leave a comment in that comment section down below. Do you have a rite of passage that you went through? And uh, do share. Do share. Share and those rites of passage. check us out on Twitch. We should be live right now. Go, go, go. Unless this is after three hours of us dropping yeah. this video. And you're just coming back to this to make yeah. fun of us or whatever. <laughs> like, <laughs> We'll see you next time on Chicago React.